Yo, what's up, everybody? Before this video starts, if we get 300 people using code KDOG, I will daily upload for a week straight. I'll upload tutorial videos, highlight videos, any videos that you guys want. All you guys have to do is use code KDOG, and this will get to 300 people using the code. I will daily upload for a week straight. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new, because we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And uh, drop a like on this video. Let's try to get like 50 likes on this video. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Catch you guys next time. Peace out. Yo, what's up everybody in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys some of the easiest ways that you can win the solo cash cup or win money in the solo cash cup and just place and everything to do with the solo cash cup is going to be in today's video so before this video starts make sure that you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel right now because we're super close to 5,000 subscribers also if we get 300 people using code kdog i will daily upload for a week straight i will daily upload whatever videos you guys want if you guys want tutorial videos montages scrim highlight videos anything you guys want i will daily up that upload that for a week straight all you have to do is use code kdog it's just k-d-o-g really simple and dm me a picture of it on instagram or twitter if you use it and i'll follow you guys back i'll shout out you on my instagram story that's super simple all you have to do is use code kdog with all that out of the way let's get into some of the best tips on how you can win the solo cash cup win money in the solo cash cup and just anything like that so the first thing is learning the meta so the current meta is charge shotgun or tack shotgun and for console personally i like the tack better because i'm not super good with the charge but if you're good with the charge shotgun you 100 percent want to use that that is the better shotgun and the more superior shotgun to the tack is the charge because it hits for more damage and you're able to end fights faster and also recover in fights if you get hit for a lot of damage because you can like trade a lot of damage very easily but if you know how to use attack and also in the end games it would be a little bit more laggy the tack is definitely a lot better so you can spam it especially the gold and purple tack but i do believe that the charge shotgun is still going to be the best shotgun in this season unless the tack gets buffed next thing is drop spots drop spots are obviously the most important thing in my opinion if you have one of the better drop spots like say you go caddy corner and you get the grenade launcher you're almost guaranteed to win every single game you play because i'm pretty sure in the cup like the emad cup the team that had the grenade or the shockwave launcher won four out of six games in it it's just a really op thing you can use it to shockwave your opponents out of zone so if you can learn how to land caddy that's definitely going to be a huge advantage for you but obviously caddy is super contested and it's really hard to land at so if you want to go on something like lootlakeinfo.com it shows the whole entire fortnite map it shows like every single drop spot every single chest spawn every single floor spawn fishing spawns it literally shows everything all you have to do is go into loot lake info i'm pretty sure and it's one of the best websites to find a drop spot oh and by the way the website isn't called lootlakeinfo.com it's just called lootlake.info so that's one of the best websites to find a drop spot if you still do need one the next thing i would recommend is doing is customs or w king and arena so i would i'd say you want a really good balance of practicing w king along with practicing end game because if there is a round two in this you're going to need end game practice for round two and if it's round one round one is usually just w key but the format is a little bit different this time so if the games are more stacked you definitely want to know how to play custom so i'd recommend playing some custom games if you need some custom discord servers dm me on instagram and all you have to do is dm me what server you play on and that's it basically and also make sure that you follow me on my instagram if you do dm me over there when you're playing the customs make sure that you're following the rules in them so you don't get banned in them and make sure you're just like playing for end game learning how to rotate and try out different things since it is a custom game and it doesn't like really matter because it's not a real tournament and you can try out different things in them to see what works and what will work in actual tournaments and then for arena i'd recommend just w king as much as possible because that's going to be the best way to practice fighting especially if you're on console you'll get to practice fighting against pc players so it'll be an easier matchup when you go against console players and you'll be really good at fighting and it's better than playing creative in my opinion because of the ping difference because in my situation i get around 20 to 30 ping in creative but when i go in game i get around 50 to 60 so if i'm practicing just like taking walls and on creative when i have like 20 ping it's not going to translate into real games where i have like 50 to 60 ping and not able to take a single wall so definitely playing arena is a lot better practice for actual tournaments and like w king than playing creative also you want to play a lot of customs and you want to try different things like late game like playing height so you can learn how to play height but this season playing height is really hard especially if shockwave is in play because shockwave launcher can basically take at take height at any moment and just launch you off also at any moment so it's really unpredictable you just want to make sure that you're paying a lot of attention to the kid that has a shockwave launcher try to get him dead as quickly as possible and just try to make sure that no one else can get the shockwave launcher because that is the most broken thing in the game right now 
to start off your tournament you want to make sure that you are w king in your first game no matter what the format is because your first game is always going to have the most bots in the lobby so you want to make sure that you're w king in your first game i'm pretty sure the max kill points you can get is 20 so if you can get a 20 bomb in your first game plus a win you'll be like top 50 or top 10 or maybe you'll even be first place after your first game so that's one of the main goals for you so try to get a 20 kill win you'll definitely be in the top 10 but other than that that is all for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video remember to drop a like on the video right now subscribe to the channel if you're new if we get 300 people using code kdog then i will daily upload for a week straight whatever you guys want so just comment down below some video ideas in case we do hate 300 people using code kdog but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out